Let's switch over to our rewind of the week, something that you and I are so excited about. Grab your razzles. Razzles are for kids. Exactly. Because it is the thrilling na, 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 13 going on 30. Yes, 13 Going on 30 was a 2004 American fantasy romantic drama starring Jennifer Garner, who played a 13-year-old girl. So do you want to go out sometime? Who just wanted to be popular, wasn't quite working. So she was like, you know what? I wish I was 30. I want to be 30. 30 and flirty and thriving. But luckily, her friend Matt had given her this like dream house with some wishing dust. And guess what? It worked. Mom? She woke up in a 30-year-old's body ah! with Woo! a man in her room and thus 13 going on 30 ensues. And she had that rockin' bod and that amazing closet. And I feel like when this movie came out, we all were like, yes, one day I too would like boobs to fill out a dress. It's cause they've got these incredible boobs to fill it out. <laughs> I just remember that Jennifer Garner was such a scene stealer in this movie. She did such a great job of getting that young teen mindset. And this was just like such a blast to watch and it's become such a cult classic. I'm going to a party in a limo! Ash, what are your initial thoughts when you think about this movie? Well, I watch it all the time. It's one of my comfort movies. So if I had to give you a list of like, oh, you're like home with the flu or something and what do I watch? It's like Easy A, 13 going on 30, 13 going on 30, then watch Easy A again, then watch 13 going on 30, and then watch Double Wars Parada. So I love 13 going on 30. I watch it all the time. And it's just crazy to think about this cast. Like everyone from the Marvel Universe, like <laughs> literally, is in it. But Judy Greer was in it, Andy Serkis was in it, Mark Ruffalo was in it, Brie Larson was in it. People don't realize you were in 13 going on 30. I was, yeah. I remember it was like the moment when I realized that I really wanted to direct. Did you know that Brie was in 13 going on 30? I told you she was in the movie. I didn't know which one she was. <laughs> she was a mean girl. God, we are so She was a mean, she was a mean girl. Was a mean. That's How crazy. cool I didn't know that. But let's talk about who was almost cast in 13 going on 30. Starting it off with our, our main role of Jenna Rink. Jenna. Yes. Jenna Rink. Yes. Before Jennifer Garner was cast, Renee Zellweger was actually considered for the role, which gotta say, normally we're like, oh, that tracks. This one does not track for me. As for young Jenna and Maddie, for a while, the movie's directors actually wanted Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo to play the younger versions of themselves. I'm so glad that they didn't because they got such spot on casting for their little counterparts. No, I, I mean, unless they were gonna make them like, in high school, I guess. They still would've looked like Rizzo to me in yeah. Greece. Like it just wouldn't have worked. But luckily they eventually cast Krista B. Allen as the young version of Jenna. And oh my God, she looked just like young Jennifer Garner. But not only that, she's grown up now and looks like Jennifer Garner now. This was not the first time that she actually played young Jennifer Garner. She's done it in two movies now. And then the other one was in Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, which was a terrible, terrible movie. But we did get to see Krista B. Ellen play young Jennifer Garner again. I've also seen Ghosts of Girlfriends Past quite a few times. But Maddie, Mark Ruffalo, he almost turned down the role because of the thriller dance. <laughs> too stressful, did not want to do this. He said, I'm going to be embarrassed because of this scene. Um, and him being embarrassed going into the scene, 100% genuine because he did not want to do that that much, terrified. But I'm so glad he did because you know what? Ruffalo killed it. Let's break down some fun facts about this movie. If you thought that Jennifer Garner perfectly encapsulated what was it like to be a 13 year old girl, it's because she did a lot of research for this role by hanging out with little preteen 13 year old girls. Um, she spent time with a, uh, a 12 year old friend in order to get into the teenage mindset. And she had said, quote, a kind of uh, a kid of 13 kind of seems like an adult that they can be deceptive. You always have to remember that they are incredibly vulnerable, skittish and childlike and finding that balance was challenging. I think she did such a great job. I'm with John Mulaney on this one when he said, if I see a group of 13 year old kids, I will cross the street. They are the most terrifying people in the entire world. Sorry, beef had majority rules. <laughs> well, and also for Krista B. Allen, when she had to stuff her bra with tissues, she said that that was the most awkward and embarrassing scene to film, which I completely understand. It was embarrassing to watch. Oh my God, yeah, like the parents coming. Are you wearing a bra? Go away. Oh, honey, what's wrong? Ash, let's talk about the six chicks. Let's talk about the six chicks. Let's talk about the six chicks, because if you pause the frame, look at who the six chicks are, because we have Ashley Benson, and we have 
Brie Larson as one of the six chicks. One of my favorite things about this, I kind of wish they left this in. So this is a deleted scene. Adult Jenna goes to the doctor and the doctor compliments her tattoos. Like, nice tattoo. As soon as the doctor leaves, she checks her whole body for it, cannot find it. Where's this tattoo? And I love that. I wish they kept that in. I wish they had kept that in too. Uh, but something that I'm really excited that they did keep in were so many teeny tiny Easter eggs that really pay off for you in this movie. Like for example, Jenna turns 30 exactly 13 minutes into the movie. And then also the blindfold that she's wearing in the closet when she's like making her wish turns into a sleeping mask with the same print when she's 30. Huh? There's a lot of cool little apartment details. So the one that she's reading about in the 30 flirty and thriving, the article is Jenna's apartment. It's the same one from the movie. I love that. The picture of Madonna that she had when she was 13, it reappears when she's 30, but it's signed this time. That's with Madonna. And also something that I noticed when I was rewatching it was when she's first there and she's establishing that it is her apartment, she's going through her mail, you see there's an envelope from Sparkle and you could tell from the very beginning of the movie that she was talking with Sparkle and oh, potentially whoa. stabbing everyone in the back. The dollhouse that Matt gives her is, ends up basically being their house at the end, which I don't know how my partner would feel about this movie get to a bright big house. Actually, he'd love it. Thanks to Ariana Grande, this movie has become infamous. It's had a huge resurgence in popularity because Ariana featured it in her music video for Thank You Next. Yes, remember that star-studded music video that dropped in November 2018 that featured scenes from Mean Girls and Legally Blonde and 13 Going on 30? She paid homage to all of these classics. I cannot believe that Chrissy B. Allen, who of course played young Jenna, and Alexandra Kyle, young Tom Tom, are like recreating their older roles looks on TikTok. Like what? And doing it flawlessly. And they, I mean, this is the epitome of amazing casting, right? Because we have all these years later where they're grown up and actually look like Judy Greer and Jennifer Garner. Well, that does it for this week's episode of Stream Queens, but Ash and I are dying to know what is your favorite hidden Easter egg in 13 Going on 30? Yes, and what 90s TV show are you hoping comes to streaming, but it's not quite there yet? Let us know using the hashtag Stream Queens, and we'll see you next time.